let's head to the Bono East, where the regional minister, Kwesi Edujan, has paid a working visit to the Ghana Nuts Limited. The visit, according to the minister, is to constitute a framework for a sustainable agro-industrialization network, which would, in the long run, create avenues for the production of sufficient raw materials to feed the factory. And our Sabit has more. Incorporated in the year 2001, the Ghana Nuts Limited is one of the leading agro-processing industries in the country. As the first solvent extraction and shea butter refinery plant in West Africa, the company is currently contributing immensely to the socio-economic development of the people through job creation and the effective implementation of its corporate social responsibility. Bono East Regional Minister Mr. Kwesi Edujan, as part of his broader plans to commercialize agriculture, paid a working visit to the company to ascertain the pressing needs of the company. You are aware that a couple of days ago, I did launch my vision. And as part of the vision for the region is to make the Bono East region a preferred destination for industries, for agro-processing industries. It is therefore necessary that we look at the gaps that prevents the, 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 the young men from working and having access to market and also to discuss with the industries the difficulties and the problems that they are having in respect to raw materials. So for that reason, we are here today. Mr. Beda Sante is the chief executive officer of the company. He says the company's major challenge is the lack of raw materials to feed its processing plants as it continuously imports from neighboring countries to meet its demands. Our main challenge at the moment is the raw material. Um, as a company, uh, you have over 2,000 employees and then somewhere along the line, middle of the, uh, the year, you are short of uh, raw material. And then we have them being forced to travel to some places like uh, Burkina Faso, to Niger, uh, and then also even as far as to Benin, Nigeria, to go and buy raw materials. As, um, as it gets here, then you know the prices then be uh, going up. So if you have the youth uh, around uh, Techiman and uh, or the Bruno and region, and if they can produce the, the raw material for you, then I think uh, that is what we are looking for. He asked that with proper partnership with government, more jobs could be created as the company is currently producing below capacity. And we want to partner also with the, with the farmers and then also with the government and see how the best way we can uh, get the raw material. By doing so, I think we also create uh, jobs for the youth. Just like many industrial companies across the country, electricity costs remain another major challenge for the Ghana Nuts Limited. Electricity has also a big uh, challenge for us. As of now, I think we pay over 200,000 Ghana cities a, a month. So if the, the government can also look at the way of maybe giving us some incentive, uh, I think we'll be very happy. Mr. Kwesi Edujan promised to work towards empowering the company in order to produce on large-scale basis. I know that if they are empowered and they have that, those resources, there is no doubt in my mind that they will be able to produce to capacity, they will create jobs, okay, and then um, their corporate social responsibility and other things will help uplift the image of the region. The Ghana Nuts Limited is currently producing just about 20% of the plant's capacity due to the lack of raw materials. With proper measures implemented to support the company, more jobs could be created to solve the increasing unemployment rates within the area. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Tichima.